Hi there, welcome to the video. Today I have an important announcement to share with you regarding Christine Passe Parker, a missing individual that was last seen in Battle Mountain, Nevada. Her vehicle was found at Eugene Mountains nearby. There is a public search coming up shortly in which people can come along and help and assist the family and friends trying to look for Christine Passe Parker. Now, as for all the details, the meeting area, where people are searching, the time, the date, etc., most of that can be explained right now in this video. What I'm going to present to you is a couple of posts and updates from the Find Christine Passe Parker Facebook page so you're better informed of what's coming up, what the event is all about, and maybe those that may watch this video, you may attend. This video is just to help people understand what's going on and what's coming up. Again, with regards to previous videos I've done on my channel in general, if you're interested in missing people cases or mysteries, as of in recent time, that's what I've been doing, such as Dylan Rounds, Kenny Veach, etc. Feel free to check them out when you've got the time. And there'll be some links down below in the comments section. For those that are currently watching in this live premiere, welcome. Feel free to chat along and share your thoughts, opinions and reactions in the live chat box on the right hand side of the screen. What we're going to do now is go right onto the Facebook page and look at these key important details regarding the upcoming search. Here we are on the page. You got a post here from 6th of October saying it's been two months since you went missing. Christine Passe Parker. Okay. Following up on possible sightings, sleepless nights, wondering where you are, we will not give up on you, Christine. Somebody somewhere has to have information about your whereabouts. We pray for you nightly. Everyone misses you, etc. etc. Now, just above, we've got the new post, 17th of October, more recent. And it states. On October the 26th, we invite anyone willing to help Christine Passe Parker's friends and family research the area where Christine's truck was found. Volunteers will start meeting at 7 a.m. to start the search at 8 a.m. Four wheelers and other ATVs are welcome. We will meet at the Limley substation near 800 Star Peak Road in Limley, Nevada. Now, I'll try and get up on the map afterwards so you can see it clearer. Okay. Now, just as a bit of backstory so you understand, where it mentions about researching the area where Christine's truck was found, that's near to Eugene Mountains, Nevada. I believe it was the 15th of August when a hunter in the area came across the abandoned vehicle of Christine and reported it to the police. As for personal possessions, such as her bank card, her phone, I think purse change, that was left abandoned just near to the vehicle. So she didn't take those items with her. Why? Who knows? But I'll just read it out once again in terms of the key important, you know, information here regarding this public search. It's happening on October the 26th, okay? And volunteers will start meeting up at 7 a.m. in the morning to prepare for the search at 8 a.m. in the morning. Four-wheelers and ATVs are welcome. That's just because of the terrain out there. It can be kind of rough, so no harm in being prepared, right? And in terms of the meeting location, that will be at the Limley substation near 800 Star Peak Road. Okay? What else do we have up here? Right, so this one here, 
If anyone would like to contribute to the cause but can't come to search on the 26th, here is a Venmo account. We will use the money for food and water for the volunteers searching that day. We just scroll down here. I don't know if it will work through my screen, but maybe you can figure it out yourself. It says Jamie Parker at jamie-parker-34 and then there's a QR code there which you might be able to scan on screen. The whole purpose of this is for maybe those individuals out there that want to physically help but are unable to maybe because they're busy on the day or due to distance location but if you're in a situation where you really want to to show some kind of support I guess this is an alternative if you wish to, if you want to. And as for the money, if you want to call it raised or received by them, the family, it's put towards resources to then help the volunteers when searching about in the area. Okay. So that's just provide context as to where the money is going. Okay. That's all good there. And we've got this one here, just like a little banner more of a, an event notification on Facebook. Okay, search Christine Passe Parker. What does it say here? Thursday, 26th of October at 1500 hours UTC plus zero one. Um, I'm not sure if that's to do with my time zone or something else. And then up here, a bit more information we'll just click the more section just so it's easier to read it's saying that many of you have been asking questions about the search and plan currently the family is planning on staying at the days in in winnemucca october 25th to the 28th and searching on the 26th and 27th Depending on what occurs during that time, the family may extend their search into the weekend. Cell phone service is extremely limited. If you have a two-way radio, please bring it. ATVs and motorcycles are welcome on the mountain. To my understanding, the terrain is mostly sagebrush. If you are used to the mountains in the Bear Lake Valley, the terrain isn't that bad. If you're not used to mountains, you might find the terrain to be a little more difficult to navigate. If you would like to carpool, put it in the comments and hopefully that will help facilitate communication between those interested in carpool. We'd love anyone, friends, family and strangers to join us. If you have more questions, please either comment here or reach out to us directly. If you can't join us, we ask that you pray for safe travel for all of those to find answers to bring Christine home. Thank you to everyone for the love and support as we continue to search the answers and area for Christine. So hopefully that makes it a little bit clearer for you, the viewer watching right now as for details. What I'll just do briefly now is head on over to Google Earth just to summarize the area of interest, okay? Here we are on the maps. Now you might be wondering what are all these markers all about? This is just from a previous project when telling the story of Christine Passe Parker, how events unfolded. And if it's of interest to you, I'll just briefly explain it to you. So it was August the 6th, 4.30 p.m. last seen in Battle Mountain, Nevada. Christine Passe Parker. She was attempting to book a stay at one of the motels in the area, but unfortunately her card was declined for whatever reason. After, she ended up leaving the area. Okay. In the direction which is highlighted in red, going down the Dwight D. Eisenhower Highway. One of the last phone pings or so was near to Winnemucca. Maybe in between Golconda. Golconda and Winnemucca within the area. Coming all the way down. And then just over here in the mountains, August the 15th, her car was found by a hunter near or, or within Eugene Mountains. Right, lower down, as you see, somewhere roughly here, for example, okay? And this is kind of like the search area 
where you know the search is going to take place researching the place just to double check in case Christine Passe Parker is somewhere within the mountains up high up or lower down okay just rotate the screen Winnemucca is here as you can see that's like where the family said they were going to be staying at in one of their hotels or motels. It's an area Christine herself would have passed by when she was on the way to Eugene Mountains, whether that be by her own choice or at the time her thoughts because she's not been taking her medication and one of the factors as to why she's gone missing, arguably speaking, right? As for down here, where you see Thunder Mountain Monument, you've got the location called Lemley, as you see here. And within this area, um, that's supposed to be like the meeting point for the volunteers. Lemley Substation. Now, I don't know where the substation is, but it'll be within this area, I guess. Just flip the image. Mill City is up that way. Eugene Mountains you can still see from here. Okay. We can try and click on it just to see if there's any images of the ground. That's one of the truck stops within the area, as you see the mountains in the background. I'm not sure if that's Eugene Mountains or not. It doesn't really describe it. You've got some little rocks balanced on top of one another. The highway, the sunset. Trains passing on through the railroad track. Sunset again. Again. You can try and do street view as well. Just so you're a bit more familiar with the area and you know what it looks like. Unfortunately, we can only do it on the highway. But let's have a quick look. There we go. So I'm on the wrong side of the road, but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Lemley. The town, as you see on the right-hand side. Looks kind of quiet. Looks reasonable. What does that say there? Not quite sure. Maybe it's a church. And then I guess the mountains are over that way in the distance. So it's kind of a quiet area to be meeting up, so it should be okay. There we go. Close that down, try and flip the image. You've got Lemley here, meeting point, Winnemucca over here, and then in between it, over that way, you've got the um, mountains, Eugene Mountains. If you want to know the coordinates for Winnemucca, roughly, uh, will it let me do it? Let me just randomly put it there. Hopefully you can see it on the screen. If you want to pause it, feel free to do so. Like 40, 58, 25 north, 117, 44, 17 west. Okay. And then as for the coordinates of Lemley, if you wish to know. Let me just roughly do it. I said it's just rough this, take this into consideration. We'll do it like in the centre part. 40, 39, 33, north, 118, 0, 09, 0, 0, west. Okay. You can pause the video, rewind it back if need be. I wonder if that's the substation. I might have actually found the substation possibly, because it's fenced off around it and there's like overhead lines. Could be the substation. If it is, you could say this is this this would be the meeting point right here. As I said, I'm just, I'm just saying it roughly. If you want to re-question family members or anything like that, or if family members want to confirm here, feel free to do so. But I'm, I might have found a substation. I said, Lemley substation meeting point for volunteers at 7 a.m. There we go. And as for the mountains, we can just zoom out briefly. Said about use... Of Usage of ATVs, vehicles like that, off-road, bikes, possibly. Yeah, so what we can do, just so you're a bit more familiar, because I don't think there's any 
Well, there's one photo up here. Have a quick look. Just do this just so you know what to expect, what to be prepared for, okay? If you've never been in the area or you've never seen photos, you can get the idea of what it looks like. And this is at the top of one of the peaks, if you want to call it that. So you can see the surrounding area. Quite a big range. Also very steep in areas. This person that came up here had a backpack with a camel's bladder for water intake and hiking poles. Maybe hiking poles are necessary in the area. I guess it depends who you are. There appears to be like pathways, not exactly roads, like winding ones, maybe more suitable for dirt bikes off-road and stuff like that. You can see the valley as it really drops down there. few loose bricks or stones and I think there'll be some additional photos here if you're interested. Appears to be some cows or bulls so I guess just to be prepared for them. Uh, I don't think the attack but I don't know in case you come across them in the area. There you go examples of you know the type of vehicles within the area such as this, like an SUV, not sure what brand, with a dirt bike on the back. Okay. So you can see using the dirt bike in these areas to get up to. And there's a vehicle driving down here. You can clearly see the, the road, the pathway is very narrow. As I said, different time of the season maybe, worth taking in mind. These photos are from 2019, so it can differ over time. There is like um, a dirt road here, as you can see. There's another angle going through on low ground. Just get through them, got some cows. The car, I think it's all by the same person, I, I believe. A highway now. Someone's setting up camp there. Huh. Nearly done. So hopefully that makes you a bit more familiar with the area and what to expect when, when you get there, visually speaking. The exact coordinates as to where her car was found, I don't know, but within Eugene Mountains or lower down, right? Within the area. So I guess the whole area, the whole like radius can be searched and checked as much can be done as possible. Supposedly the police did search the area, as it was said by the family, but as to what extent, kind of unknown. I think the police searched the area where her vehicle was found, but as for the, you know, the surrounding area, maybe not, which is unfortunate. Because you can see how big it is, the area. Could be down there. Or somewhere here. Or maybe higher up. All depends, right? So roughly this is kind of like the goal of the search. To recheck, to research the area where her vehicle was found abandoned. Right? She did have her two dogs with her. Border Collies. Um, both had like half and half black and white on the side of the face. Does she still have her dogs right now? Not quite sure, right? But if for whatever reason the dogs were within this area, maybe on the search people could find them. Who knows? It's, it's uncertain at this moment in time. But what is certain is a search will be taking place soon on the 26th of October. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video and maybe found it of interest, importance to you. As said, if you do have any additional questions, feel free to reach out to the Find Christine Passe Parker Facebook page or from there on, you know, other people present over that way. Um, maybe you could leave questions down below on this video possibly and Maybe if friends or family members of Christine Passe Parker are watching this video, maybe they can answer it here as well.
right? Just a suggestion. And if you do want to leave any other comments, reactions or thoughts, you can do that down below. I'm aware that a few people over time on my channel have pointed out maybe Eugene Mountains needs researching. You never know. Well, it looks like that will be happening. So we'll see what happens next. Time will tell. And maybe the next video I do will be Kenny Veach, likely. But in the meantime, just going to wiggle about, stretch, do a bit of exercise maybe, or whatever, do some of the bits and bobs, and yeah. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, whenever that is. Goodbye, good night for now.